Good morning, guys. It is 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Did I just wake up to set up this shot and pretend that I just woke up? Yes. <laughs> I am so excited for today. I am very tired. It's quite early. Had a very late night last night. Drinking wine, catching up with friends. But today is going to be so worth it and you're coming with me. We will be going to Ratetti House and i am bringing you guys with me and i'm so excited we're starting off the day with a three hour drive this is a place called one stop nanuki we slept here for tonight so that we check in early as fuck <laughs> and spend the most time at this place because it's absolutely insane and we're only there for one night i need to get ready i just woke up besides setting up the shot i did just wake up I will freshen up a little bit, uh, put on some clothes. This is a regular t-shirt. I twisted it up and I would wear it normally, but I'm not, you know, because I'm about that sexy life. Um, scent of the day, My Way by Giorgio Armani. And I'm going to spritz this at my pulse points. Boo barrier. <laughs> and that's good to go. I need to put some behind my ears. All right, smelling fresh. And yeah, I think that's it. Let me pop on a jacket because <laughs> the whole life, I am about the whole life, but it is freezing. So I'm going to wear this camera jacket. And there we go. It's giving wildlife sanctuary. It's giving people who take care of animals. I look like one of the, I forget the name, it escapes me. The people who take care of animals. Anyway, it's giving, it's giving that. And this is very cool. In case I get even colder, I'm going to pop, pop this on, you know? So my second jacket, in case I get chillier. So I'm ready to go. Even if you're not ready for the day, it can always be night. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. <laughs> you were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fire. Place is in the middle of nowhere. We still have an hour to go, and this is what the road looks like. And yeah, let's keep going. Literally, middle of nowhere. Broken, shattered, singing along to nothing. So friendly. Okay. Yeah. I'm the first of your life. Okay. Oh, she's, she's brought a tripod. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> Oh, 
Do you think you'd ever go back to the wild? Um, hopefully yes. Yeah. You know, we are now, we are now. They can do. They can do. You know now, what we are trying to do is uh, we are learning mm -hmm. each and every time with Longoro. We have a lot of friends here. Yeah. A lot of friends. They help you. Mm -hmm. Now the elephants are depending on things that are on top of yeah. trees. And now they fall down the branches and then they leave him to eat. <laughs> the only challenge is this spot. They fall one by one and scatter. Mm. Mm. Okay. So other elephants will pick them quickly, but he will not. Yeah. You have to struggle kneeling down, things like that. That's why we are trying to give him in a in a group of yeah. in a one place so that you can grab them at once and yeah. he's so cute. And he's what two years now? Yeah, he's now two years and yeah, it's not two years. He doesn't want your palette. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ah, Very this impressive. Is true. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, that's insane. And welcome to Canada. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, well done. Oh. That is incredible. Look at that. Welcome to some little iced tea for me. Thanks. This is incredible. This is amazing. Oh my god. Thank you. 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 Amazing. This tea is so refreshing. Oh. <laughs> this is the best thing I've seen in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. <laughs> This is stunning. <laughs> quickly do a break for you guys. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take your bags to your room. Okay. Then you can relax. Peter will let you know what he has planned for you. You can tell us this one. Perfect. Look at that view, huh? Absolutely <laughs> oh. stunning. So, welcome to our room. There's the bed. Very, very. Oh, that's a very nice bed. It's quite firm. Oh, that's so nice. And that's a very nice bed. And obviously, this is a bed, but look at that. That is what is amazing. There's a oh, beautiful view. And you go outside if you want to enjoy the view. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Got caught. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. This is insane. This is like Instagram picture spot, as long as I don't fall. It's like, <laughs> baddie, Insta, glamping. This is so cool. And we come back in here. And this zips up to keep up everything. Elephants. Elephants, <laughs> baboons, you know, normal stuff. And this is the bathroom. And how, how cool is the sink? This is sink goals. It's just like a rock, <laughs> basically. And a tap, essential. And they've got an all-natural face mask. Yeah, we'll get to this very soon. So the air around here is very dry and you just keep, you have to keep your skin hydrated. There's a toilet, nothing interesting in there, but come see this. 
Oh my gosh. It is an outdoor shower. Look at that. Look at that. Just me showering <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And if you're showering, need an insta pic. It's all about the insta, guys. No, it's not. <laughs> But yeah, this is our lovely room. This is absolutely incredible. I'm so excited. This is insane. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I love you. Love you Just be a sec. I'm just going to chat about the <laughs> elephant city. Let's, let's chat about the elephant situation. Okay, so we just came back, checked in, and I got scared. I got scared. I fed the giraffes and I was fine. I fed, I, I petted the buffalo a little bit, but I got to the elephants and I saw them fighting a bit for the milk. I don't know what happened. I couldn't just put my hand out for them to eat out of my hand. I just got scared of their trunk and their baby elephants. But still, I thought, how fucking crazy is this? It's a freaking elephant. So I just panicked and I feel really bad I panicked, but it's okay. You know what? I still, <sighs> I feel bad. I thought I would overcome a fear. Like I've fed giraffes. Oh gosh, there's a fly. I fed giraffes before and it's been fine. Like last time I fed giraffes, I was running away literally. And today I was fine around them. But then I think the elephants as well was just intense. So I didn't feed them, but I got to see them up close, which is very cool. And got to see Longuro, who is the elephant whose trunk got eaten by hyenas. So he fell into a well and hyenas devoured a third of his trunk. So he has a very short trunk and it was really cool to see him because his story was all over. Like National Geographic had pictures of him recovering. People thought he wouldn't survive, but he did. So it's quite impressive to see him in person. So I will go because there's an insect and I do not do insects. <laughs> so I'm going to go chill by the pool. And of course you guys are coming with me. So let's go. <laughs> let's change into a swimsuit. Here is a bikini. It's from AliExpress. I don't know what it is, but I've been loving my body. I don't know if it's turning 27, but I've been like, girl, this is what she is. Deal with it. Got my surgery scars, which I'm very proud of. And yeah, so let's go to the pool. This is the pool. And look at that view. Oh my goodness, I could cry. Okay, oh, that looks deep. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> I thought it was a snake. <laughs> I keep getting startled by this because I think it's a snake, but they did tell us that there's a possibility of snakes being around, so. And I'm petrified of snakes, so that's on my mind now all the time. Like, I wish they'd just not told me, but it's okay. So, pool time's over. We had some drinks by the pool, so we're getting late. But we're about to go up for lunch, so I'm going to put on some sweatpants and just hop on to the lunch area, which is stunning as well. Look at that view. Absolutely incredible. Mm, e incredible. It's so, it's so pretty. It makes me speak French very badly. Is that rice? You are so cute. Oh, maybe you don't fight? Okay. I think the 4.30 a.m. wake up call is catching up. Like after lunch, my brain just feels like it's shut down. It's like, I don't want to think anymore. My brain has left the building. I am feeling so freaking tired. So my plan is, it's almost 3 p.m., game drives at 4.30. 
I am going to take a 10 minute nap. I just had a coffee and I've read that if you have a coffee before you nap, it's a power nap, you wake up refreshed. So I will try that theory today and I will sleep for 10, 20 minutes, wake up, get ready for the game drive and hopefully I'll be a-okay. I also just found out that we have an early morning tomorrow. Well, I have an early morning. I want to try feed the elephants again. So I want to go at like 6 a.m. <laughs> I will have to wake up early for that. So I'll do that. So that means I know tonight will be a late one. Like we're with our friends. We'll be drinking till late, but it's okay. But I'll have a quick nap. 20 minutes. You guys, you guys have to time me. 20 minutes. I need to get my face together, do some makeup for the cute sunset game drive. And hopefully I feel better because right now I just feel, I feel like my brain's like, no Matilda, we don't want to do this anymore. We don't want to be here anymore. So I'm going to give my brain a rest. So I will see you guys in 20 minutes. So one nap later the secret to looking somewhat put together is put some concealer under your eyes a little bit of eyebrows lipstick you're good so that's what i'm doing look at that fresh already i do not feel fresh <laughs> i'm going to do a lip mask which is this laneige lip mask because my lips feel super super dry a bit better yep so set the concealer with my maybelline fit me powder I'm going to use a bit more because it's quite hot here and i want to stay a little bit matte for now i will now do my eyebrows with the Too faced pomade in a pencil I love this stuff so much. I've gotten through like five pencils. So I'm just going to quickly draw on some brows. I don't have brows, but that's just how life is. And I'm okay with it. This is like my very quick brow. And I don't want to seem like, oh my gosh, you don't look dead inside. And I'm learning to love myself without the makeup. Because you know, sometimes you're like very negative to yourself when you don't have makeup. You're like, ooh, I'm so ugly without makeup. No, I'm beautiful both ways. And I've been trying to embrace more of that, right? Like not feeling the need to have a full face of makeup to be presentable to the world. Maybe I'm just rambling, but that's how I've been feeling. I'm like working on accepting myself as I am says a girl with eyelash extensions i get them because they make me feel good right so just doing stuff because you want to feel better not because you feel like you need it or it makes you more beautiful it's just like it's something i can do it's something i can live without and i'm fine so i am still working on that i'm obviously not good at that yet but i think i'm getting better and better it's a toilet in the background i'm so sorry but everyone uses the toilet okay but no more toilet as i was saying i am working on that like just accepting myself as i am and it's a journey it takes a lot of unconditioning to be okay with how you look normally so it's a journey baby steps but i am working on it the amount of concentration i have to have when doing brows is insane if i had concentrated this much in uni i'd have gotten a first class and just to lock everything in this is a hungover uh three-in-one setting spray from Too faced oh that's so refreshing i don't think i need a lipstick but i think i'll just do a very neutral one like barely there this is a wet and wild Give me mocha. I love this lipstick so much. I wore it on my wedding day and I love it. Got to Get rid of the middle bit. <laughs> and that's it. There's a face. There's a game drive face. And I think I will put on something on top of this. So maybe a cropped jumper. Yeah, let's do that. 
this jumper literally doesn't stay down but it's fine and there we are ready for game drive this necklace is from Anna Luisa my husband got it for me as my wedding present I love it so much and your girl's ready let's see the fit this is the fit cargo pants thrifted H&M top from years ago Calvin Klein bra and I will put on the same boots I had this morning and I think that's all that's going to happen so yeah this I need to zip up my zipper so this is game drive fit I'm still so tired so I think I'll go get another coffee and then we can finally go on this game drive so let's go oh my god guys you won't believe what's happening right now look at that it's elephants coming to the pool oh my gosh well maybe they're not coming to the pool but oh my god this is surreal edge of the pool it's so sad to talk about baby yeah yeah how amazing is this what it's so windy oh my gosh hands down the coolest day of my life <laughs> oh my god absolutely incredible <laughs> oh my god Look at this one with the trunk up. Oh fuck. Look at this little one. Oh hello. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh. Wait, your turn, please. I think it's This is worth it. <laughs> 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 
Literally shitted myself, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's incredible. <laughs> it is packing time. It's time to leave this place because we've overstayed our welcome. This morning, I'm literally packing. This morning was such a whirlwind. Oh my god, so I woke up late. We're supposed to be at the Reteti Sanctuary at 6 a.m. I woke up at 5.45 a.m. And I, by the time I was leaving, it was basically 5.55, so we had to run. Uh, we got there in 10 minutes. Literally ran. I hate running, but it was worth it because when we got there it was absolutely incredible we were not allowed to touch them but it was so surreal seeing them like face to face absolutely incredible and right outside there's two elephants drinking water so where is that? look at that that is just right down there they're just drinking their water and it's so cool this place so many elephants so incredible it's been the experience of a lifetime so basically it's time to go and it's just been amazing staying here like Reteti, the staff relief the relief manager at the moment christine she's so lovely it's just been amazing to get to experience this and i'm so glad you guys got to experience it with me so yeah it's been absolutely absolutely incredible and i wouldn't change it for the world so we're leaving now we're going to do singing wells which is basically the samburu people they sing to their livestock while in the river so that they come and it's such an intimate bond I don't think you're allowed to film in there. I wasn't going to film that because that's that feels very intimate, like a very intimate cultural moment, and I don't want to film that. So I will end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you had a fantastic stay with me at Reteti House. I'm so glad I got to experience this with you guys. And of course, my husband and our friends. It's just been the experience of my life. I love it so much. I will remember this till the day I die like so yeah, I'm just going to finish up packing say goodbye to the pretty elephants and we're out of here but thank you so much for joining me today you have been a fantastic company I like you we're friends now so I hope I get to see you in my next video but until then do take care of yourself and see you very soon bye